Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be one of the quickest videos in the series. It's going to be focused on power supplies. Uh, there's really only three prevalent options, technically four, for the R640. That's going to be a 495 watt, a 750 watt, and 1100 watt. And there's technically a 1600 watt, which is uh, much less rare and not very common. Uh, your 750 is kind of the sweet spot, which most people use. You need low wattage, 495, and then 1100 technically has a platinum one as well, which is a great option. So uh, the main thing that I wanted to note in this video, uh, you need to make sure you have the right power supply as far as the voltage. There's technically an uh, option for like the 110 volt hookup or a 220 volt hookup. So depending on which uh, power supply you have or what your data center connection is, just make sure that you get the, uh, the right voltage overall for your setup, okay? Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually show you a uh, just a quick close-up of some of the different options, and then we're gonna show you how to install them, which is incredibly easy because it is a hot swap, and it just pops in and out, so it's very simple. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll zoom in and we'll show you some of the options. All right, so I laid out a couple of the options, 495, 750, 1100, just wanted to uh, to show you up close the options, um, and again, uh, you know, it's a pretty simple video overall. There's not a whole lot going on here. Uh, the one thing I do want to note is make sure if you're using redundant power supplies, they do need to be the same watt. So it needs to be 2750, uh, 2495, or 21100. So let's just say you had one die and you're replacing it. Do make sure that you're getting the exact same one so you don't run into any issues. So now we'll show you how to install them, which again is super easy because it's hot swap. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to replace a bad power supply. So let's say this was bad. These are both 750, so we need to make sure we match it up right. So 750 will be the right one. So you're just gonna push this blue tab in and pull out. It's very easy, it's hot swap. We're just gonna take our next one and slide it in. And I will note right here, it's not fully in. You're gonna see the orange tab physically kind of pop when you get it all the way in. And now it's fully in. Very simple install. Uh, the only thing that might be just as easy is installing a solid state drive or a hard drive because again, it's hot swap, but that's it. That's how quick it is and how easy it is. Replace your power supply. And if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking to overnight a power supply, we can definitely accommodate. If you need any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. And thanks for stopping by.